cluster of bees. shake them down and they all fall into the box. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. <clears throat> then I take the box gently, I set it on the ground and if the queen is in the box, if she's not still on the branch, then I'll put the lid on. I don't know if she's in there yet, so they can smell her. And if she's in the box, then a bunch of workers, the, the ones that collect honey, will gather around the opening to the box, and they will start, they'll lift their abdomens up in the air, and they'll start fanning. And what they're doing is letting off another pheromone that says, she's in the box, she's in the box. So you, you're watching for all these biological cues. And usually I'll sit and watch for about half hour. And uh, if they're really making, making moves into that box, then I'm pretty sure I've got her. So what I'll do is I'll leave the box. Say I capture them in the morning. Then I'll go have my day. with that homeowner and I'll come back right at sundown. All the scouts are back, all the bees are in the box. It's like a whole complete hive is in there. I like to say that it's my adrenaline sport. You know, some people do downhill skiing or snowboarding or rock climbing. So this is my extreme sport, essentially. And of course, I love the biological, you know, stewardship aspect of providing a safe home for bees and pollinators in general. Ooh.